We're <laughs> off the ship today Hi. in Bergen, Norway. Bergen. And the ship, of course, is the Sky Princess. Sky Princess. And I love this. Well, that's new. Anyway, we're going to walk over to the funicular and ride up that. It's, you know, a train that goes up the mountain. It's right over there. And it's a little breezy today. So, Sky Princess, you walk through the uh, port. Of course, it's a shipping container port, right? It's a working port. Not really made for cruise ships. But they do have this semi-permanent area here leading us where we need to go. And where we need to go is about a mile straight ahead. That gets us into uh, the heart of Bergen, of Old Bergen, let's say. So they have this sign, Mobility Bus, takes you downtown, which is where we're walking, if you need it. So along the way, they have this handy map. We're where the red dot is. We're going over to number three. So it has a list of what everything is. We are going to end up on the funicular, which is number four. So we're going to go around there and around there. Hey, and the sign says welcome. So I guess they want us here. So as you can see, it's Mark Cruise Gate. It's got red chains, zebra stripes, and a sign saying city center, and a sign saying to cruise ship. So, and if those don't do it for you, just follow the crowd because everyone's going to the same place. The guy in the red jacket there is selling um, hop on, hop off bus tours. So you can do that. I'll try to find out how much they are. We cross the street, there's a little uh, craft market over there. But these buses are in the way. See, they're selling t-shirts and things like that. But over here we have the old buildings. So we notice there's a little bit of graffiti and art on buildings. We're going to cross back over here. and take a look down this street. So we made a turn on Nostegarten. So we're going to walk down here about a block and then take a right. There's the ship. There's something in front of it. Like a building that's weird looking. Some sort of storage, I guess. There's all these alleyways going up between the buildings. And there's Bunpris. Guess cars drive on that? I mean, the streets are cobblestone here. We came up one of these cobblestone side streets. That's the ship above that tree you can see. And this is the way pretty much the town looks. This is Klaus Freeman's gate. And they've got these, what I think are charging. Oh no, they're recycling, they're trash cans. I thought they were chargers for electric cars. And a lot of this is very, very steep. We should know. Like what we're on right now. And we're coming up to like a walking tour. Not sure why they have graffiti here. Oh look, it's like a fountain. And a motorcycle. A waterfall, this is a park. So, there's a building. <laughs> um, spice a croaking? Not sure what a spice a croaking is. Restaurant. 
enjoy Saigon restaurant. Came from there. Uh, there's Janet. What we're trying to get is over there. And on the map, it shows this as being a sort of a zigzag pathway down the hill. And it is. So let's go down that way. We're on that zigzag path. We were just up there. The ship is over on the other side. We sort of needlessly climbed a hill. But anyway. And it wants you to look at the puppets. Where we're trying to get is down there. That's the buildings of the Hanseatic League when Germany kind of ran this place hundreds of years ago. Or at least did a lot of trading. People treat this as a pedestrian walkway, but I see cars on it, so... Be careful, it's not a pedestrian walkway. And then this is an old building with an R left on it. I don't know. I tried to pronounce the name of it, but I failed. So we're going to walk down to the water and see if we can follow the uh, water all the way around. Came from up there. To me, all the buildings look old around here, even the new ones. Rum Patrol. Capitalism is the virus. Look at the houses up on that hill. Of course, that's the hill we're going on, Mount Floyan. So I guess it's really a mountain, not a hill. Oh, there's some old buildings over there. And the graffiti. Uh, they must have a water taxi or a ferry come here. See? Terminal in. We found our way down to the water. Those are the Hanseatic League buildings. They've been here for hundreds of years. And... Everybody else wanted to be in the same spot, apparently. But we're going to go up and around. So we're almost to the end of the harbor. This uh, fjord and city sightseeing boat is just taken off. Bergen Cruise dot Norway. Dot no. <laughs> Back up on the road. Doug Frisk. We find ourselves now at the Fisket Orgit, which is the fish market. And they have fish here. And they have caviar from Norway. They have a lot of different kinds of fish here. Let's go back up the other way. Ooh, lobsters. Cold water lobsters. On the crustacean. Crab claws. Shrimp. Crab. Sea urchins. Hey, they're tagged. And what fish market would be complete without the guy selling cheese? And more crabs. Shrimp, fish, sushi. I get it free on board. We have the Princess Premier package. So, Ocean Terrace is free.
I like how they write the signs in English because they know we're getting off the ship to eat their food. This guy? Asian food? And then it's time for dessert. But don't forget to have a salad first. Hey, look at these sandwiches. I guess we just walked through a restaurant. And food trucks. And whatever that is. Another flea market. Look at that old boat. Granvin. I think that's a steamboat. As it turns out, these are restaurants also. Wild deer or wild moose? What's your choice? A steaming vat of wild deer moose? Or a chunk of it. There's more yeah. salmon like sandwiches. Salmon. Yeah, sure. Paella. Look at that. Hey, you get fluorescent lights. It's got an evil flicker to it, doesn't it? Oh yeah, because it's a reason. Maybe you want some dried fish. Oh, that's smoke. That's dried. And that looks like all skin. There's smoked salmon. Those are some big chunks of salmon too. Caviar? Oh, it's a six pack of caviar. Sausage, three samples, moose burger, reindeer sausage. So I'm not sure what whale beef is. Um, big cows or whale meat? So apparently you could get whale here. I don't know if that's a fact, but this place is crowded. And it seems to be the same thing as everywhere else. So better prices. So fish market was that building and all that. Fish and chips. Oh, maybe that's what they get. And that's the donut house. And this is the Landis Bakery. And another sausage place. You suppose they have whale sausage? They do. Fish market was around the other side of this building. We're back over to the other uh, side. And those are the Hanseatic League buildings. It's all the way down. And some other old buildings and a lot of boats. Nilsson. So the ship is way over there. Up, oh, three harbors over. That's some orange. Well, that building says 1904, so I guess they're not hundreds of years old. Not sure how old this wood building is, but it looks fairly old, doesn't it? Somebody's selling their artwork here. <laughs> so you 
you see the years marked on there. Um, I don't think that's from 1480. Feelings? Somebody going for sale. There's the toiletter, toilet, bathroom. And they say a dollar on them. They have a place for you to do your credit card. But I don't know if that's in kroner, which means it would be 10 cents, or a dollar US. It doesn't say, it just says 1.00. But along is the telephone, and there's an actual pay phone, but there's no receiver there. There's no handle, nothing to talk to or listen to. But it's a library. So if you need a book, we came down across the Hanseatic League buildings and the old buildings. We're going to try to get to over there. As is everybody else, apparently. Hey, I got a bee flying around my head. So, this is the Bergenhus Festing. And uh, I know from Oslo that means. Fort, more or less. So this is a fortress. Festing. And this is a bowling alley. Like in the lava tube. It says 1832. Of course they've added mailboxes since then. So if you could read that. Ah, the Rosencrantz Tower. Oh, 1563. The oldest part. And then they parked this truck here. Uh, I think they charge to get in here. So that's a brown $14. This, on the other hand, seems to be free. And it's not that $14 is too much, but I don't think we have enough time. Of course, it would be cool to go up on top, but I don't know if you can get up on top. Apparently we can explore the outside for free. So this is some of the oldest buildings in Bergen. Oh. Some of these are loose, so be careful. Close the gate. Does that mean I can open the gate? I closed it. So I'm thinking this is the remnants of a really old building. Wow, look at that. Oh, and that too. Like this. Right?
I don't know. Let's see. I did that in Spain somewhere. And, oh, Lima, Peru. At the palace and somebody answered the door. <laughs> I almost got arrested. <laughs> This has a lock on it. Not that I need to go out there. They have saved that lady's life. Well, she could have backtracked. I helped an old woman down the stairs because her husband was too old to help her. Anyway, the things monkeys do. Oh, is he going in? Nope. We're gonna go up these stairs. Of course, there's that big old building. With the dog? Watch tells me I've walked two miles so far from the ship. Of course, we kind of didn't go straight. I don't know that you could go straight in this town. <laughs> so, Kong Hakon, the eighth. I think that means king. Seven. 1872, 1957. Oh, look at the cannons. And look at the toileter. It's got a fence around it, so don't depend on it. Well, we have some cannons here. Let's get a look at them. See in there? People like to ride them. And they're aimed at the ground, but I guess they used to use them, right? Although the Germans occupied this during World War II, so... These look a little older, though. I see why the trees are here now. This seems like a lot of walking. Maybe you want to try segways. We're going in the Windfjord store. You can get your Norwegian flags here, umbrellas. Remember, it's like 10 to 1, 10 kroner to 1 US dollar. So, these are about $1.30. That's $17, give or take. Oh, lots of sweaters. Please take care of your children. Just reading. If you break, please pay or run out of the store. Right? Well, it goes on and on. Um, I guess it's a pencil case. Mm -hmm. You know anybody who needs one of these? So that's about $16. And it feels like wool, although the inside is something else. But this is super scratchy. Those are the Hanseatic League buildings there. The fortress was up there. We're gonna take a detour here to St. Mary's Church. came up from the waterfront there and this is the uh, Bergen's Museum so Bergen's 
And it says welcome. We have a cafe. I'm gonna walk inside here a minute. Out. Tickets, tickets, tickets. I don't know if there's an accessible part here. Let me ask somebody. Hey. Oh. Never mind. Janet. This is a letter. So entrance to this museum is about $14 US. So we're going to go find St. Mary. Hey, wait. Let me ask her if she knows where it is. You know where? Oh. Watch your children. So this piece of wood is a side rudder from a Viking ship. Janet would have you know. You see the water down there and the boats in it. A couple statues. That's the museum. And that's the St. Mary's Church. Guessing we can walk in, but I don't know. Well, they want to charge me to walk in the church, it looks like. That's the... The 750. Oh, six for me, because I'm old. Somebody's playing some music. Outside St. Mary's are some uh, graves. 1824, one says. So, oh, more around the side. Just like that. So we're, we're backtracking a little bit. I want to take you in some of these places. Remember we came from down there. And we went up there. But you should know that some of these alleyways are full of shops also. Or just really old buildings. I'm just trying to take a little friggin' home. Virgin. You could. So, Bread's Garden, Handlegate, Indie Shops and Galleries, and all wood buildings. I want you to notice how much those lean. Right? So, galleries, indie shops. Hey, they don't want pigeons on their building. Look at that hook, crane, hoist. Shot glasses. So here's an example. That would be eight dollars, give or take. You want some uh, Norway buildings? It's going to set you back twenty-five dollars. Of course, it's made of metal. I think it's very heavy. If you want a fox fur, ooh, or a skull. Wait, I think that's Rudolph. Looks like an old west town that's falling apart. 
but it does have one of these. And fishing poles, $60. And lures. Only ten. Oh no, that'd be a dollar. Wouldn't it? Eleven dollars. Here's some furs. We're gonna buy fur from it. It's not that soft. Which maybe you look good in that. There's also these things. Hand knitted sweaters. Watch your head. See? We were just in there. You know, there's like a little park here. And then we're taking some stairs up to a street. So this is over a garten. And I said garten earlier, but I believe it was garten. So I I think all these are the Hanseatic League buildings, but maybe just the big ones there were. But we're going to head to the funicular, which I think is on the street or near it up here. So we walked up from there. Janet wanted to see this, uh, this here antique store. Look at that. That's an antique. But is a fidget spinner an antique now? Right there, that's the way back to the ship. That's where the fish market is, the other market. And this is the funicular station. And here we are. So, round trip, one way tickets for today. Prices. We gotta find out. So we had tickets and we didn't have to wait in the ticket line, the queue. Those are tickets. The line wasn't that long though. And Janet pointed out the price was the same as it was online, so okay. Oh, I'm dug into stone here. So the funicular will be down here in this little station and that's for handicapped people so we're going to go right here actually there's a train there I think oh it's going up I guess so we just missed it so we're waiting for the funicular and the crowds you forming I think I hear one coming. Oh, oh, oh. Of course, it's got to empty out people first. I think it empties on the other side. I think so too. So, if you want to catch COVID, this is a good way. Doors are closing. Doors are closing. I think our car got the fullest. And we're off. No, we're in a tunnel. In a minute, we're going to come out of the tunnel. Okay.
it off. And walk upstairs, mind you. I guess there's an elevator. Oh, I don't see one. Maybe there's an elevator up there. Oh, I guess the higher your car is, the less stairs you have. So wheelchairs and strollers, they get to just walk straight off. All right. And it is crowded up here. Look at all the people. Of course, you see the ship down there. There's a house or a restaurant or something. So we walked there and then back here. Umbrella. Just see the red funicular coming. Of course, there's the ship. There's Bergen. Here's my new friends. Careful on these steps because they're slanted, some of them. And it makes this walking difficult, especially if you're not paying attention. But there is one of these signs. So if you want to go to Rome, it's that way. South Pole. North Pole. If you want to go to Floyan, well, you're there. And if you want to put a sticker on the pole, make sure you bring one. So we're going to walk down after we walk over here. So if you don't like the crowds, come over where the music is. See the uh, notes? So this is the Floyan Fokker's restaurant. And this is Road World Championship. Mini Elite Time Trial Floyan, September 20th, Gold Medal from Tom Dumoulin. Hey, an Anchorage Rock, maybe. Well, this is my Sioux Rocks, and I can't hardly read that, but I'll try it's it. It's been from all over, it looks like. I miss it. So, watch for the Floyan goats. <laughs> Say hi to the goats. It smells like goats. I don't see any in here, though. Nope. Salt lick. <laughs> I wish you could smell that. I believe this is another goat building, and that I don't know. Ah, toilet. Right there. Maybe they're free. It does have a playground, so I guess that's part of the playground, but it looks like it's closed. So... And we got a creek here. So they have toilets. And they don't cost money. And they're free, yeah. And they're pretty busy, though. So there's the goat barn we went in. And it's his house. There's the goat. And he's got a box around his neck for some reason. And multiple tags, so I don't know what the deal is. But this is what they mean by watch out for goats, don't trip over them, because they sleep. Yeah, see? That's what they were talking about. Yeah! Don't trip over the goats. No, it's not that. Look at these. 
There's the bathrooms. The, the goat in the sidewalk was right over there. This is part of a playground. There's another part up there. This is a sauna, but it's locked, so I can't go in. Um, Janet says there's a goat right there. Oh, there I go pointing again, huh? So I guess that's, yeah, maybe that is a trail. I haven't seen any signs saying how to get back to Bergen. And I'm not sure they meant for this wood to be in here. So this goat found something to eat. But he's got one of those boxes around his neck too. Hey. It's kind of horny though. Ooh, something wrong there. Anyway, oh, am I gonna get back down? The goat's back there. Uh, the playground is over there, the restaurant, the viewpoint. This is a way back. There's actually two. We're taking this way because it goes by the uh, cathedral, the Domkirk, Bergen Domkirk. It's like a mile, I think. Maybe a little more. So we've come across what looks like a school with a pirate ship. Oh. Janet says it might be employee daycare. I don't know. It's the radio station. And it's very pretty here, though. It's walking in the forest, right? On a paved road, mind you. And you can see Bergen down below there. Well, we're coming down that road, and we saw some signposts. That was the school we just passed. Rundemannen is three kilometers up, so two miles. I'm not sure what that is even. Another mountain. But anyway, we're not going up there. And this is 2.9 kilometers to city center, so two miles about. A little bit less. And then, of course, if you don't want to walk on that road, you can just do what they're doing. So it said cycling... For butt and a person on a bicycle just went by so apparently don't pay any attention to this warning signs there's other people cutting through see flowers of course it's middle of august so summer for them about 65 degrees, maybe. This is getting pretty steep. I mean, I wouldn't want to come up it, but I guess people do. Save yourself eight bucks. There's a bench there. But it's very wet, and there's a trail. There's trails everywhere. And there's this paved road. We've only walked about half a mile since the top there. Janet says we've walked about three quarters of a mile. And she's loving the flowers. Even though they're little. But they're these little tiny yellow ones. And... Well, that looks like a dandelion. Sort of. See that? When we get around the bend here, this road goes a lot steeper. And we passed a couple people coming up. So, several in fact. Oh, and some red flowers. Good job. I'd like to be able to do that. But I can't. <laughs> so those look like little tiny cherries, huh? I bet they're poison though. I don't know. I'm not going to try them. I didn't try the uh, raspberries we saw. Because who knows? I will show you the city down below. 
course the ship is over that way. Well, let's, let's go down this trail real quick. And watch out for mud. Oh, hey, there's people down here. There it is. And there's Janet. It's been almost a mile. And there's another on task. I've seen that graffiti several times now. And purple flowers. Oh, look, there's a there's some sort of bug. And then there's these flowers, which are the same color, but definitely different. See that? And those are different yellow flowers. So, Norway is in bloom. Well, we're almost all the way down. Here's some school's track, I guess. More people coming up, more people coming down. That looks like honeysuckle. See that? So, other purple flowers. And look at these white flowers. They're covered with... Uh, Several kinds of bee, and even what I would call a housefly. See? Well, we've reached the end of the road, you might say. Well, that's some valuable information there. Well, that says we walked 1.6 kilometers. Well, that's what it looked like. There's the end of the road right there. I guess these are houses. And we were up on top there for a little while. Now we're going to walk through town. And we're on our way back to the ship. We have just a couple stops to make. We've been coming down this road. We're going to get off the road and go down this uh, path here. Seems to be a more direct route. And hopefully it, it is. <laughs> and we don't have to turn around and come back up this road or path. And it also goes up in the bushes. Some sort of animal hiding from us. See it? It's a robot mower. It's a Husqvarna. I think those down there are the Hanseatic buildings where we were earlier. And right there is the ship. See it? So down we will go. That's the path we just came down, and this is the uh, funicular. Pretty funny, huh? So here's the track for the funicular, and there's where the two cars pass. And you probably can't see it, but you can hear it. That cable is going up, dragging this car behind it, and that one's going to be coming down. Blue car. Red car. So a lot of fancy houses like this one. See that? It's somebody's house. Maybe his. He's got netting on his trees. I've got netting on my peach tree at home. So the squirrels don't eat the peaches. 
or the bugs, or the birds. That's a big metal slide, like tubular, man. So we're, hey, that rhododendron has a couple flowers on it. So we're all the way, almost down, almost. But there's a pond here and busier streets and more people. And we've walked uh, two miles since the top. And maybe six miles altogether so far today. I wonder if that's the church. I know that's the ship. I don't know what this is. We're on Ovra Blekivian. And there's a sidewalk going down, which I think we're going to have to take. A pond without ducks. We're gonna head down this way. There's the ships right over there. You should know these are pretty steep stairs. Got a lot of people on them. Got a lot of chip parts. somebody's house. Jane's gonna take the stairs. And you see we're gonna zigzag, switchbacks all the way down now. This way, that way. Oh, the flowers. So you could stay on the road. I guess cars drive on it. There's a car on it right now. Or you could take these stairs. Like I say, they're kind of steep, some of them, but it's a lot shorter. We're almost back down into town, and I think that's the church. Of course, we were way up there, I'm not going to point. And now we're all the way down here, almost. I guess this is a school thing. No, I caught it. Thank you. Grazie. I should have said prego. So we're back to cobblestones. Oh, this is the uh, funicular station. The oldest school of the Nordic countries. 1740. Oh wait. Let's get video of kids playing. Oh, another one? Really? Like I was saying, that's the funicular station where we got on it today, a couple hours ago. We had no idea we were going to end up back here, just so you know. This is just a fate. Not that we're going to ride it again. We're going to take a little bit more through town and then back to the ship. McDonald's! Oh, I pointed. Uh, that's an x -Bing. I think it's Chinese made, and it is exactly like a Tesla Model 3. So, we're almost exactly. And this is Odd Hill Viking. So, souvenir shop. The funicular station is that white building up at the end of the road. Floy Bannon. Um, that's a restaurant right there. 
and I guess you'd call that a restaurant. In case you didn't understand all the golden arches, they they wrote McDonald's up there on a centuries-old building. <laughs> anyway, so this is a street called Brigisporden, maybe, and it's full of uh, little restaurants and hair care places. Like a three corner in and lights. But at night this place is all lit up. And bun press. I swear we saw a bun press somewhere else. It's like a 7 Eleven, I guess. Salong Bar and Billiard. So that's the art wall, I guess. <laughs> I made that up. Szechuan House. There was a Szechuan House over there we passed. Um, that looks like the church, right? Kind of in front of us. And I think we're coming to a Domkirk that's closed. Copper roof. Let's see if what happens when we come around this way. And it looks old. Uh, 1621 maybe? Is that what that building's trying to say? Can you see it? Little slit windows. Bergen Dunkirk. Locked. So what Janet found out is that closed four days ago for repairs. We just missed it. Hey, a crew. Camera crew. So we're going to head back to the ship. This way. So we came from around the church. There's this building. This big square. Down there is the fish market. There's the giant pottery statue. And here's the, the prideful zebra stripes. Crosswalk. So we're gonna go that way and then to the ship. I guess that's a lucky seven. Exhibition. These buildings seem a little old. Coming down from there. Big park here. And lots of uh, orange electric buses. See, there's another one there. And a green cross walk. <laughs> they had electric and, I don't know, gas, diesel, propane. Let's walk down to this park from 1857. Hey, he's got a bird on his head. Good bread. Good bread? Maybe? Ooh, we got a lake. People riding every which way. Look at that. It's full of people. Big park here. And then houses on the hill. And those are the ones we just walked through. That's up there on top. It's the top of the 
funicular, right? Mount Floyan. And there's the statue with the bird on the head. And look at all these buses. And there's a whole line of them. Come from way down there. There's a Kodak film. And look, oh thank heaven, it's 7-Eleven and a tunnel. But I think that we're going to turn here. I'm not sure what that building up there is. Or this covered one, covered ones, plural. That's a church though of some sort. Also under repair. We made a left. The ship is up ahead here. And then an orange bus. But look, French tacos. You can see that over there. So, bars, restaurants, clothing stores. Another place under repair. With big steps leading up to it. walk through some construction I guess. So Peter Garden. Got a little bit of graffiti here. Another building being remodeled or restored or whatever. There's Bart Simpson. must take some time to do I mean there's the ship so this is the front of the buildings that have the graffiti on them and back and there's the guys selling t-shirts we saw earlier the Hanseatic buildings are around to the left up there Nastaboden Nastaboden my wiener's tied in a knot. Wiener dog. Oh, and he goes around the corner. Oh yeah. Look at that ship, and there's the sign. Two cruise ship. Remember this from earlier? Remember that from earlier? Hey, I love this. Well, that was our day in Bergen, Norway. What do you think, Janet? It was fun. It was fun. By that, I guess she means it's a lovely town. Lots of history. Lots of things to see. Uh, lots of places to walk. You could even buy whale meat. Yeah. There was and if you weird. did, well then, we'll meet again. Right? We'll see you in the next part. Bye.